but uh, well, it was uh, it was a great team effort um, defensively, and there were some great individual efforts defensively. It was a great team effort on the defensive boards, uh, 35 to 20, which was uh, just amazing based on what we um, just went through over at Marshall, where we got pounded. Um, you know, it's a young team, and there were a lot of a lot of minutes out there on the floor where we had four freshmen out there at one time and uh, it's all part of the process you know trying to learn from your mistakes trying to build on it trying to understand why you got beat you hope you have guys that bother get bothered when they get beat and that they'll respond and try to improve and then you hope they have long memories now as we go back on the road and uh, Marshall by the rebounding um, we got second chance opportunities um, we, we were able to get out in transition which we could not do at Marshall because we got the ball off the defensive board um, we uh, were able to stay out of foul trouble with our bigs because we were able to get the ball off the defensive board and not reach and stab and grab. And um, I thought the job that uh, Julian Washburn did tonight on Simmons was tremendous. It was also kind of a coming out game for him offensively. It's a guy that, that we uh, had hoped uh, he would be. He was very aggressive and, and also played very smart uh, with the ball. Um, we had uh, great minutes from Devon Campbell, who um, you know played smart and and um, understood what he had to do. You know, had um, great help side, great on ball defense, um, moved the ball for us, got us open looks. Uh, C. J. Cooper and uh, Bo Hannon uh, just really, really uh, is, is looking like he's, he's starting to grow up. You know, he's he's rebounding the ball a little bit. Um, I thought he, I thought he played uh, with the most physicality that I've seen him play with, and then our senior was tremendous. McCulley was absolutely tremendous. It always looks better when you make shots, but the encouraging thing is we could have hung in that game not making shots and shot 35 or 36 percent had we done that because we were rebounding and uh, and moving the ball and getting quality looks on the other end. So uh, a lot of a lot of positives out there tonight. Um, Streeter played well. And um, we now have got to try to figure out a way to go play with that kind of effort and intensity on the road over at Tulsa. How's Mike Bennett? You know, I, I don't know. We'll uh, be off tomorrow. He'll have another day to, to try to get it back. He said he couldn't cut on it. Um, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll look at it. You know, but, uh, you know, if I'm him and I watch the way those other guys played, I'd probably get well pretty quick. <laughs> was, was there... Any effort that was more impressive for you, Gabriel McCulley or John Bohannon? I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't single one out, you know, because uh, it was team defense, and uh, those guys happened to make some shots. But, but Bohannon on the boards was really big, based on where we had been. Uh, McCulley making shots was tremendous. His activity uh, defensively and, and on the offside was great. Uh, and you know, it's about as pleased as I've been with one of our teams based on their abilities. Um, you know, and and then coming back after a loss and playing, you know, and uh, um, you know we we just have to continue this process and uh, and see if we can't uh, keep growing because that's a good Houston team. What was the difference in the second half? The first half they shot sixty six percent, and you they ended up forty two percent contest. Were there any adjustments? Well, we did. We we were playing off of their bigs at the high post in the first half, trying to protect. The block because in their game against uh, Tulsa, the first 12 minutes of the game, every possession went to either the left or the right block. So we were trying to provide front and backside help and uh, and dare some of those other guys to shoot it. We knew that Van Slyke could really shoot it. Uh, they made a couple. Uh, we also felt like we got hurt on a couple of uh, stagger screens set by that guy high when we weren't up there to hedge and recover. So we, we started extending a little bit to those guys and uh, and that probably helped us. Coach, there was real, no, no real uh, foul trouble to speak of tonight. Was that a conscious effort on your behalf, or was it just the way Houston presented their offense? You know, no. They, you know, when, when the ball's not caught on the low block, you can stay out of foul trouble. If the ball is not driven from the perimeter all night by your guys, then your big guys can stay out of foul trouble. Okay, If, if you can defensive rebound and limit them to one shot, Okay, where the offensive player isn't getting the ball and you go back and hack after he gets it. You can stay out of foul trouble. And all those things happened tonight. We guarded the bounce. 
Uh, we fronted the post and kept it out of there, played on the backside, things that we have emphasized all year long. Uh, but to our guys' credit, they, they actually implemented it and got it into a game, you know. Houston averages almost 80 points per game leads to USA. You hold them to 50. Yeah, well, it's just just real proud of them, you know, and uh, we, we didn't give up easy baskets tonight in transition on the offensive board. But it'll be very difficult when we go back down there, I can tell you. That's, that's a much better Houston team um, than, than um, the one that we saw a year ago, and we struggled down there with our veteran group a year ago. During the second half during that run, uh, I believe it was from Cooper, Cooper fed Lane, he dunked it, saw the door to sign, he started smiling. Was that, was that the defining moment? Does that no, no, that was something that John Bohannon, of all people, <laughs> said was going to work if we ran it. So I went down there and gave him a little love, and I said, good call. <laughs> and they all got a kick out of that. This is the first time I've said something nice to Bohannon in two years. <laughs> so they all loved it. <laughs> yeah. He's become real mature now, Coach, wouldn't you say? I mean, it's, it seems like he's, he's getting there. Starting to see that, that maturity. Well, the ball the ball's not dying in his hands every time he touches it. You know that was just just not understanding basketball. You know, and uh, he's actually moving it, and he's actually starting to get it. I hope. I don't. I don't. But please don't write it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because I swear I don't know who the guy will be that gets praise. All right. Let's don't, let's don't do that. Coach, nice present on uh, Tim Hardaway. Well, I'm sorry, nice. Nice present on uh, Tim Hardaway. Yeah, yeah, you know, and uh, I, I think I think our fans are really loving the fact that these old guys are coming back. <laughs> so much has been made of the championship teams. And uh, Tim um, provided, we, we, you couldn't buy all the marketing that he gave us all those years in the NBA. And... Uh, his numbers retired with the Heat. It was time coming for, for that to happen. And um, we've got so many other great players that have been here. They're going to be honored, uh, you know, during during our tenure here. And uh, and I think it's all something that all of our fans should be proud of. And uh, what we're getting in the residuals from all these guys calling us now. You know, a lot of these guys had not heard from anybody since Coach Haskins left. And... Um, uh, we're now getting emails and texts saying, hey, look, there's a player in my neighborhood or I know this kid's dad. Um, you know, um, it, it's with those jerseys hanging, I think it's going to mean a lot to recruits coming in where they can see what this place has really represented through the years basketball-wise. And I think it also provides a great deal of pride to all of our fans, you know, and uh, looking back and, and fathers talking to sons about, I remember this guy and what he did, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, it, it, I think it's been a long time coming and uh, something that uh, I think our, our university should be proud of. I know these guys really enjoy coming back. All right. Thank